Welcome to the TappingSolution.com. I am Jessica Ortner, author of the New York Times bestseller, The Tapping Solution for Weight Loss and Body Confidence. And in this short video, I am going to introduce you to the tapping points. Just by learning these nine points, you can start your journey to relieve stress. Many of these points you may already intuitively use. A lot of times when we're feeling anxious or stressed, we go like this, or we put our hand on our chest. Now we're using these points in a very conscious manner. So the very first point that you need to learn is the side of the hand. And it doesn't matter what side of the body you tab on. This point is called the karate chop point. You got it. And tap along with me so you can get comfortable with these points. The next point is the eyebrow point. And this is where the hair begins on your eyebrow right on that bone. There you go. You got it. Now you're gonna follow that bone until you find yourself on the side of your eye. So it's not your temple, it's right on that bone. The next point is underneath the eye. So once again, you follow that bone until you find yourself right underneath the eye. And as you're tapping, you might notice that some points are more sensitive than others. The next point is underneath the, no the nose. So right between your upper lip and your nose. Then we have the under the lip point, or some people call it the chin point, and it's right underneath your lip on that crease between your chin and your lip. The next one is the collarbone point. So you can use your whole hand to tap on your chest, or you can feel that U-shaped bone, and if you go down an inch and over an inch on either side, you're gonna hit that point. Perfect. The next point is underneath the arm, and it's about a hand width from your armpit. For women, this is about where your bra strap lies. And then the last point, and yes, I know it looks silly, but a great point to hit a lot of these meridians is right on the top of the head. There you go. So those are the nine points. Now, when you want to start to tap, the first thing to do is to notice what is really coming up. What's your most pressing issue? Are you nervous about a deadline at work? Are you anxious about a phone call or some news that you've heard? Whatever it is, get clear on what's creating the anxiety in your body. Because when we are feeling stressed, we're not just experiencing stress in our head, we feel it with our whole body. Which is why it's so powerful to use a stress relief technique that incorporates the body. So you start by tapping on the side of the hand and you start with the setup statement. The setup statement is pretty easy and it sets you up for the process. You state your challenge, and you end it with a phrase of acceptance, or simply letting yourself know that you're okay. So it sounds something like this. Even though I'm really anxious about this meeting, I accept how I feel. Or even though I'm really stressed about this upcoming event, I accept how I feel, and I give myself permission to relax. There's a lot of different ways to do the setup statement, but what's key is to let yourself know that you honor how you feel. Because too often, when we're trying to move past an emotion, we're fighting against it. When we allow ourselves to accept where we are and how we feel, we open ourselves up to releasing it. Then, you tap on the rest of the points by simply sharing how you feel. So you can pretend that you're calling a friend and you're just complaining, you're just telling them how you feel. This is the tape that you're probably already running in your head. So as a short example, going with this theme of being nervous about a meeting, it would start with tapping on the side of the hand and saying, even though I'm so nervous about this upcoming meeting, I accept how I feel and I give myself permission to relax. You would do that three times and now you tap on the rest of the points while giving a voice to how you feel. And this sends a calming signal to your brain Letting your brain know that even though you're nervous about this meeting, that you are safe, that it's safe to relax. And when you can relax, you can be more resourceful and creative and do a great job at your meeting. So then you would go to the eyebrow point and say something like this stress around this meeting. Side of the eye, I'm nervous I won't do well. Under the eye, I care so much about this meeting and it's causing me anxiety. Under the nose, the stress around this meeting. Chin, all of these expectations. Collarbone, this tension I feel in my body. 
underneath the arm, all the stress around this meeting, top of the head, all this stress around this meeting. If you're not sure what to say, like I mentioned before, you can pretend you're talking to a friend, or you can just say the same thing, honoring how you feel, the stress around this meeting, the stress around this meeting. And once we bring down the intensity, we can focus on some positive phrases. Because when we pull out the weeds, we're able to now seed. We can actually say positive things to ourselves, and we believe them. So once you feel better, and that's the key, when you feel better, you can move to something more positive. So it would sound something like this. I am prepared, side of the eye. I'm calm and confident, under the eye. I'm ready to share my ideas, under the nose. I feel strong and confident, chin. This is my time, collarbone. I am ready for this meeting. Under the arm, I feel calm and confident. Top of the head, now is my time. So you can incorporate how you're feeling, letting go of the anxiety, and when you're able to move that, then you bring in the more positive, and then it actually feels real. So next time you tap, notice, as soon as you start feeling better, try to put in some positive statements. You'll get to the point where you can think about that meeting and your body feels relaxed. And when you feel relaxed, then it's easier to bring in more empowering thoughts. Now when you tell yourself that you can feel confident and prepared, you can believe yourself because you let go of the anxiety that was coming up with those thoughts. So that's a very, very quick introduction on where the tapping points are and how to tap. But here at thetappingsolution.com, we have a lot more resources so you can really learn how to get the best results. Well, it's been an honor to introduce tapping to you. I hope this is just the beginning. And until we meet again, take care and keep tapping.